Well, today's weather is the best that we're going to have all this week. Chief forecaster John Milan is here. And John, not a bad day for all the tailgaters. Oh, not bad at all. As a matter of fact, this is as good as it gets this year because this was the warmest day so far of 2014. Big storm to our north actually brought the warmer air in here. We're not getting the blizzard like they're getting across the Dakotas right now in northwestern Minnesota. Uh, if you're traveling in that direction, folks, that is some nasty weather going on. By tomorrow, that storm moves up into Canada, and we're just looking at colder air coming in behind it like we have looked at uh, most of the winter season. The cold air comes in, and it starts to feed another storm system that'll be rolling our way for later in the week that could bring in more rain, maybe a little snow mix also. So today's high 57 degrees, only the fifth 50 degree day of the year so far. We have not seen 60 degrees yet or warmer. Our priest warmest of the month was 55 degrees back on March 10th. You can see the 60s from Madison all the way into southwest Wisconsin. 70s not that far behind, but here's the colder air to our north and west, and that will be funneling in behind the low pressure system that's pounding the Dakotas with whiteouts and heavy snow. 57 still in Milwaukee. Milwaukee and Waukesha, 61 in Burlington, 63 in Whitewater, 62 out in Whitewater with Racine only at 50 with a bit of a southeast wind there. Tonight's lows dropping into the mid 30s right along the lakeshore, mid to low 30s as you get away from the lakeshore. Any rain that will fall right now looks like it will be very light rain. And we're looking at essentially a low pressure system over Iowa. You can see thunderstorms starting to develop right along the low. This is the upper low right here. And we had some sprinkles moving over us uh, about an hour ago. Most of those have moved out of the picture. Any snow for us is going to be, or I should say any rain for us should be very, very very light. And you can see the cloud line starting to push through western Wisconsin, so we'll see a little bit of a dry slot and some clearing as this big low pushes up into Canada. Here's what it looks like on our computer models. The mild air for tonight, the low moves out of the picture, and then behind the low, here comes the colder air, and that will start feeding in for tomorrow. On a strong west wind, we're still going to stay windy on Tuesday, 44 in Milwaukee, 43 Madison, 41 La Crosse, back into the 30s across the northern part of the state. So small chance of a shower, smaller chance of an isolated thunder shower. Late evening hours, 35, your overnight low. Strong southwest to westerly winds. Strong winds again tomorrow, partly cloudy, cooler. Only 44 degrees tomorrow night, partly to mostly cloudy. 26 out in Waukesha, 30 in the city. And we'll get mostly rain on Wednesday, but again, it'll be light rain developing late. Might mix with some snow towards the evening hours, high 40. Then on Thursday, mostly rain once again with Possibly a little snow mixed in early and late and more of the same on Friday. Rain mostly, but little snow could mix in. And we get back to 52 by Monday, but it looks like a seasonable temperatures into the weekend only in the low to mid 40s.